Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss Washington's largest volcano rattled by quakes, scientists on alert. A surge of seismic activity has rattled Washington's largest active volcano, Mount Adams, raising concerns among experts, putting them on high alert. The 12,000-foot stratovolcano has remained dormant for centuries. However, recently it has been hit by tremors, which scientists fear may trigger a potentially cataclysmic volcanic eruption and has prompted them to intensify monitoring efforts. Nestled in south-central Washington, approximately 55 miles southwest of Yakima, Mount Adams is considered a high-threat volcano, but not necessarily because of an impending eruption. The volcano, as per a Daily Mail report, has the potential for catastrophic landslides and fast-moving lahars. These mudflows, which can surge downhill at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour, pose a significant risk to communities in the region. While Mount Adams has not erupted for nearly 1,000 years, experts from the U.S. Geological Survey have long warned that it will assuredly erupt again, though it is impossible to predict exactly when. Scientists estimated that its most recent eruption occurred sometime between 3,800 and 7,600 years ago. To keep tabs on its potential eruptions, scientists set up monitoring stations that track ground movements and seismic activity. These stations recorded nine earthquakes in the vicinity of the volcano, with magnitudes ranging from 0.9 to 2.0. Usually, the volcano only experiences just one quake every two to three years. Despite the increase, experts have been quick to clarify that these tremors appear to be part of the volcano's normal background activity rather than an indication of an imminent eruption. Surprisingly, the greatest danger posed by Mount Adams isn't an explosive eruption, it's avalanches, landslides, and lahars. The ice-capped summit conceals large volumes of hydrothermally weakened rock, and future landslides of this weakened rock could generate far-traveled lahars, warned USGS officials. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.